Look at all these people. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. We're going to jump right in here into the boot camp. Getting it going. All right. All right, we're live. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining boot camp. Hopefully, hopefully everyone's, everyone's feeling good and well rested before we jump right in here. So let's go ahead and start with this one we've been doing for a while. Turn the hips, swing the arm up. Open that up. Ah, let's bring it down. Rotate the hips, turn the other way. Take it down, other side. Got this whole front line here from the hip into the shoulder, into the lat, the whole thing. Overhead reaching, very important. Ah, so good. Couple more here. Last. There we go. Okay, let's take it to the middle. Just bring a knee up. Go ahead and touch that opposite hand. Touch that opposite hand with the knee. Bring it on. Go. On. We're going. We're moving. It's Saturday. People got an extra half hour of sleep. That's good. Mm -hmm. Full of energy. <laughs> Good, let's take it back, pull the heel to the butt. Other side, switch it up. <sighs> Couple more per side. One, two, two. Good job. Okay. Swing one leg back, touch. Now, if you're good at this one, you can touch in front of your supporting foot. So, if this leg is swinging back, I'm gonna touch the ground or my foot or my knee or my shin with the hand on the side of the leg that's going back. If that makes sense, which I hope it does. If not, just that's what I'm doing. So touch, extend forward, and it's important to get that back leg high. Literally, for every inch down, your torso goes in the front, your back leg goes up. We want to make sure these things are happening simultaneously. It's like a drawbridge. A fulcrum, maybe. Fulcrum, that's the word. Touch, lift that leg. Get extended. Couple more. Nice job, good. Let's go ahead and uh, circle the ankles. Start with one side, circle to the inside. Ah, go over all those toes. Reverse the outside. Switch to the other side, switch it. And roll the inside. And let's go the other way. All right, good. Spread the feet apart just a little bit. Take the hips into a circle. Mm, that's good. Let's go the other way. Squeeze the glutes as you come forward. Feel that side bending as you work, right? Not just forward and back, side bending. All right, good. Stick the hands in, release them. Index point, fingers point up. Take a breath in. Show the world's belly. Breathe out as you go to one side. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Come on up and out. See if you can go a little bit further down. Arm stays straight. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and swing those arms down and back. 
and forward. Forward. Soften through, hands are soft, breathe. <sighs> Bring the arms in opposition. There it is. Good, all right. So, actually, let's go ahead and take it into this one. Let's go, let's get a little transverse plane action. The rotational plane. Turn the head to look over the shoulder. Twisting is important in life. Twist and shout. Gotta get rotational movement in there. It's very important. Let the arms come to rest by themselves. Don't control them. Let them come to rest by themselves. All right, good. Let's backstroke. Take one arm, go back. Other arm goes back. Open up those ribs. Breathe into it. There we go. Yeah, breathing's good. Oh, yes. And back. Good. Let's go forward. Here we go. One. And one. Two. And two. Big circle. Big circle. Make as big as you can. Focus on these ribs opening up. That's important. Open them up. Open them up. One more each side. Open. And open. There we go. Good job. Let's go ahead and circle those shoulders. Pull the shoulder blades onto the back. And let's go the other way. There we go. Okay, good. Left and right with the head. More frontal plane here. And let's go chin to chest and then open. <coughs> go ahead and circle. Take it around. <coughs> Someone's mic's up. What? Mic is on. I'm supposed to mute everybody. I thought I muted everybody. Oh, it's Gimbal. The Gimbler. Hey, buddy. Once again, circle. Finish those circles. Jeffrey Gimbal, who is now one degree of separation from Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm jealous, but that makes me three degrees of separation. Pull. All right. All right, must be getting close. There's eight minutes. There's eight minutes. Joints should be feeling good. Things should be loosening up. Maybe get a slight sweat on. That's all good. All right, nice. Good. Let's just move around a little bit. A little jump here. <coughs> nice and loose through the arms. Just watching. Will Smith is Muhammad Ali. Last night, it's a movie I'd almost forgotten. It was pretty good. Left and right, we're floating like a butterfly. Not stinging like a bee just yet. Left and right, soft through the arms. Gotta shake the hands out. Get those wrists going. <sighs> That's good. <sighs> Let's take it on jump jack one out. One, two, three, one. Two, three, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, one, two, three, five. Good, let's take it to a seal jack. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five. All right, good job. Let's go fast, jumper jack. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, one, two, three, five. 
All right. Nice job. That's 10 minutes. We're warm. We're feeling good. Grab yourself a drink of water if you want, if you need it. And let's jump right in to some weighted, if you have weights, reverse lunges. Now, as always, if you're not feeling up to it, and if you don't really want to do the weights, you don't have to, okay? But if you have the weights, they're good to do. Now, what we're gonna do is, let's add a sidestep in between. So, we'll take our dumbbells, we'll sidestep, sidestep, an inside leg goes back into that reverse lunge, sidestep the other way, two steps, reverse lunge, okay? Step, step, back, and step, step, back. There's the move. Keep that going. Again, weights optional. If you want them, take them. If not, add that step and come back. Step, step, reverse lunge. And step, step, reverse. Step, step, reverse. Step, step, reverse. I think I took a step out, but I think that makes more sense. Just take that step when that back leg comes up. Take that step out. Okay? There's your move. Keep it up. So we get a lot of little uh, frontal action and we get a little satchel action. Look at that. Two planes of motion at once. All right. Good job. Let's keep going. 15 more seconds. Stay low when you step. Come back. Step. 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 And back. If anyone's ever done any capoeira, which I don't know. Who knows? I got a diverse group of friends, a diverse interest. Maybe someone has done capoeira, but this is kind of out of that, right? The side stepping and then the reverse lunging. Good job, done, leave that alone, good. This one you do need the dumbbells for. I suppose you could do it without, but most people are gonna need dumbbells for this. If not, you don't have them, it's okay. Take those shoulder blades, pull them onto the back, take the chest, bring it up high like a superhero, bring it out here like this, and give me like a half lateral raise. Half lateral raise. So don't go all the way down, just go to about there. The top part of that movement is the meat of that movement. The very bottom, meh, not really getting you that much because of that lever arms, because of physics, okay? Let's keep going. Get right into those shoulders, why not? We got the shoulders, we got the legs, the upper body, lower body. We're throwing some core in about uh, eight seconds here. It's so gonna be going up and down. It's gonna be good. There's three, two, one. Toss dumbbells aside. Here we go. Onto the back. Onto the back. We're going to keep it simple with piston legs. First set. We may get more complicated later. Extend the leg. Bring the arms overhead. Alternate position of the legs. Here we go. Pull it in tight. Get that stomach really braced. It's nice and strong. There's Heidi Rose Robbins and Dylan Michael Heffernan getting their exercise in this morning. Pull it in tight. Pull it in tight. Let's jump in here and say hi to everybody, Dylan. No, hey, there he is. Come on. <laughs> Dylan Michael, with a message to everyone, get your exercise today. All right. All right. Good work, everyone. About five seconds to go. Cameo appearance by DMH. And time. Good job. Okay, back to move number one. We got our sidestep into the reverse lunge. So dumbbells if you want them. No dumbbells if you don't. Let's take a breath here, okay? We'll go five seconds. All right. I realized I got a message yesterday. Yesterday's workout was really hard. I don't think I was giving anyone a break. Okay, here we go. Step out, step back, out, step back. A little shuffle, and out, back, shuffle, and back, and shuffle, and back. Come on, shuffle, and back. If you want to make it for real, you can take a real shuffle, right? Shuffle, shuffle, back, shuffle, shuffle, back, shuffle, shuffle, back, buckle it up, back, right? You want to make it a little more dynamic, a little more fun. Why not? Fun is good, right? All right. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. This is alternate sides. So we're going to keep going strong. About another 15 seconds here. Keep it going. Get that shuffle in there. Stay low. Drive it back. Back knee goes close to the ground. Shuffle. Take it back. Keep it going. Dumbbells optional. You want the dumbbells a little more power, a little more strength building. That's good. Five seconds to go. Instagram people, where are you? All right, time, good job. Lateral raises once again. If you have no, excuse me, you have no dumbbells, just at breakfast. 
If you have no dumbbells, that's okay. We can work invisible dumbbells. Ready? Back to the side. Find that golf grip that we use. Pump it up and down. Pull the shoulder blades back. Right? Go fast. Okay? Again, no dumbbells. Just work with this. Okay? Work with this. Gonna be good. All right? People who are strong, you might even try it without dumbbells once that you'd be surprised. Okay, pull those shoulder blades back. Just so you can get right into those lateral deltoids there. Make sure you're not doing something crazy like this, right? You're staying tall, right? My ear is right over my mid shoulder. I'm not here, right? I'm tall off my chest. So I'm practicing good use all the time, good posture all the time. Let's keep going. Why not? Five seconds. We go back to core. Three, two, one. There we go. There's somebody. Hi, Karen Ringo. Waving to you. Okay, good. Come here back. Here we go. Here we go. So, legs wide, okay? Reach up, breathe to one foot. Take it down, reach up, other foot. Take it down, reach up, other foot. Take it down. You get the idea, other foot, take it down. That gives us a nice contraction through that whole core, the whole rib cage, right? Again, a little transverse action, a little rotational action in that, uh, in that upper body. That's all good. So we're working the transverse plane. We're working our ability to rotate, turn, right? A diversity of different types of movement. Not just this kind of thing, not just straight up. Nothing wrong with that. We want to diversify, right? So we're working all kinds of different movements, okay? So we're working this rotational plane here. Good. Five more seconds. Five more seconds. Good job. Three, two, one. Good job. Okay. Third set. Hope everyone's heart rate is up. Come on up. Take a breath. Let's get ourselves going in about five seconds here. So again, it's that lateral step and then take it back. Here we go. There it is, let's start. Lateral step, take it back with an inside leg. Lateral step, take it back inside leg. Lateral step, inside leg. Lateral step, inside leg. Lateral step, inside leg. Lateral step, inside leg. All right, that's what we're doing. Step back, step back long. You can have a slight incline forward in your torso. That's gonna get us into the glutes a little bit more. <laughs> Take a long step back, back knee close to the ground. Get that little lateral step. So we got a little, yeah, a little something a little more dynamic, right? So it's not just like robotics, which is fine. Robotics are good too. All right, but here, something a little quicker, something a little more dynamic. Good job. Let's keep going. 15 seconds. Keep it strong. Last set, best set, right? You work and do your best on these final reps here, right? Really get into those muscles. Put your mind right into those working muscles. Speaking of the Austrian oak, he was always talking about that too. Good time, leave that alone. Let's go back to our lateral raise, okay? Take yourself nice and strong and tall, chest up high, pull the shoulder blades onto your back, take a breath, lateral raise, lateral raise. That's right. Again, dumbbells are cool, good to have. Check your posture, be strong, be tall. Make sure we're working that posture. We're working that column strength. That's all core, right? That's important. That's core. That's posture. That's your postural muscles, right? So these uh, distal muscles, right? Like the deltoids and stuff, those are important, right? But equally important, hold on to that column. Nice job. Let's keep going about five more seconds on this guy. Yes, I did. All right. Thanks for jumping in for 10 minutes, Karen. Appreciate that. Good job. Three, two, one. Done. Okay, here's our core. Last one. Last one. Here we go. Okay, got to do the tough one, right? We got to do the tough one. So we're going to open and close the book. Okay, here we are. Reach it up. As you come down, go ahead and open that book. Bring it up. Open. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out here. Lower back stays on the ground. Breathe out here. Breathe it in, right? Think of yourself like a boat at the bottom, right? I'm like a boat, so I got that lower back crushed to the floor. I don't want to be a weird shaped warp boat with a lower back up. I want to be here, flat on the ground, all right? Keep going, we're going strong. Now, if this one's hard for you, don't go as low, thing number one. Or keep your arms here down by your sides, thing number two. Or just do one leg at a time, okay? Lots of options for everybody. Let's keep going five more seconds on this guy. Five more seconds, very easy, very fun. Three, two, one, we're done. Look at that. Nine sets, we crank through 821.
Good job, everyone. 19 more minutes to go. Oh, we're still going to do this. It's going to be awesome. Take yourself a drink of water. It's all good. It's all very, very good. Okay. So we're going to work a little bit of mat work. We've been doing that, uh, working that into the uh, workouts a little bit more. So mat work it is. Take yourself down into the all fours position. All right. Take a breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Your pace, right? So you might be more out of breath, a little less out of breath than me. It's all cool. You, you coordinate the movement of the, of the body and the spine with the breath. Okay, hands underneath shoulders. Next thing, we're going to take a leg, bring it up here like this. Look at that. My shin is perpendicular to the ground. I'm going to go full on Jane Fonda. I'm just going to give you a couple little pushes up to the sky like this. The push, and the push, and the push. I'm going to push. I want to keep my shin vertical. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I hope it's vertical. But you just keep working with that. About 10 more seconds. Getting in those gluteals. Push up. Push up. Three, two, one, done. Good. Just switch to the other side. Other shin is vertical. Pick it up. We're working, if you didn't notice yet. The glutes of that leg is going up. We also work in the hamstring. You might get a little hamstring cramp when you do this. That's possible. If so, take a pause and stretch it out. We got 10 more seconds to go on this side. Keep kicking it up. Pay attention to what the rest of you is doing. Make sure your arms are straight. Make sure the head is in a nice alignment with your spine. Good. Bring that down. Go back to the first leg. Bring it out 45 degrees. Pump that leg up and down. Pump it, baby. Keep that leg flexed. Foot flexed, arms are straight, up and down. Your gluteal, and gluteal maximal. Minions, minimus, and minions. Five seconds to count. Oh, golly. Oh, golly. Good job. Let's go to the other side. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Go. That's the good stuff right there. Good stuff. Oh, these two glute moves right in the move, right in a, right in a row. Very cruel. Good thing I already worked out this morning. Oh, my goodness. Ten seconds to go. Ten seconds. Come on. Three, two, time. All right. Go back to that uh, all fours. Shift that hip one way. Shift the hip the other way. Quick stretch. That should feel pretty good in there. Oh, golly. Go performance. Ah, okay. So get on the horse, get off the horse. One in a row. So let's go go back to the first leg you were working, right? So we're not just keep crank crashing on that one. Kick it back. Get on the horse. Bring it back. Get off the horse. That's one. Kick it back. We're gonna do five. And get off. There's two. Three. Oh yeah. Four, last one. Take it back. Five. Good job. Woo! -hee. Okay, other leg. Kick it back. Make sure when you kick it back, that toes toward the floor. One. Two. Arms are straight. Body's organized. That's three. Oh, I'm keeping careful track because I'm doing it. <laughs> And five. All right. Good job. Let's go to the back real quick. Let's get one more bonus set of abs. Why not? Bonus set. So take it up once again. So the, th the, the three or four or whatever is versions. Here's one. Take it down. Touch the heels. Okay. You can also alternate. That's probably the easiest one. Next version. Alternating legs. Next version. That with the legs overhead. Final version, both legs together. Choose your poise and let's do it for 40 seconds. Oh my God, here we go. Take it down. Lower back to the ground. That's the move. Stay strong with it. We got about 
20 seconds to go. <laughs> yes, lower back crushes the ground. Get it strong, nice and powerful. <clears throat> the abs are important. Rest if you need to, right? We've got about nine seconds to go. See if we can power through these last four seconds. Three, two, one. Done with that. Good job. Come on up. Come on up. Grab yourself a drink. Take a breath. Yeah. All right. Nice work. Okay. Let's just do a little rotating here. We'll get to some more hard stuff in just a second. I just want everyone to feel a little looser. Really torch those glutes. I'm sure feeling it. I hope you guys are too. Three in a row and the abs are probably feeling it. Get our whole central region feeling it. Take those arms once again. Give them a flop. So we got to get into back a little bit. Maybe a little chest. Got to get into little arms. All right. Let those go. All right. Here we go. So let's be simple. Keep it simple. All right. So we're taking our, uh, taking our dumbbells to our sides, okay? And what we'll do is we'll fold. We'll hold that folded position. Elbows glued to the sides. Do not move them. Kick it back. Nice squeeze. Bring it forward. Kick it back and squeeze. Hold that. Bring it forward. Squeeze it. Right. Now, when your arms come forward, don't let the elbows do crazy things like this. Again, keep them glued to those ribs. They're stationary. Kick back. Kick back. That's the move, okay? That kicking back portion right when you're at the top should really feel like something's happening. All right, let's keep going. Ten more seconds on this because we don't want to – we don't need to cream it too hard, right? We'll, that's, it's, a, it's a lot of work as it is, okay? Good work and time. Nice job. Okay. Now, dumbbells. Once again, come down to the ground. We're gonna hold that push-up position. Or, if you're not up for push-up position, just hold this all fours position. So here's what it is from here, for renegade row. Pull, pull, all right? Opposite side. We need 30 seconds. You wanna keep the body as stationary as you can. You wanna avoid a lot of rotation, okay? So I don't want my hips to shift too much like that. I want them to keep them pretty still as I row, all right? There's the move. We're getting there. This is a quick one, okay? Because I know this is a hard one, all right? Good, three, two, one, done. Okay, good. Well done, good. Come on up. So my last one, we do a little bicep, very simple. We're gonna do a uh, hammer curl, keeping them Straight, now, just like with the lateral raise, you want to keep the body very still, okay? Upper body very still, just working from the elbow joint, okay? Keep going, let's do a 30 second set. Nice and tall. Elbows by the side, so this is the, this is the thing. Same with the tricep kickback, the elbows stay right by the side, right tucked into those ribs. You should feel that connection. And again, feel that column strength, that core strength that keeps you vertical. Keeps the body vertical and not a lot of thrusting and swinging, okay? We're getting there. Just give me five more seconds. Three, two, one, done, okay? Fold it over. Here we go. We're going to kick back. Back to those kickbacks. Here we go. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Kick it back. If you can hold that top position, that's good. And those tens, I tell you, tens, three pounds. Again, soup camp, a pair of shoes. You don't need a lot of weight for this movement. If you put your mind, where's your mind? Mind right here, in the muscle. Put your mind in that muscle so we can get a good squeeze each time. That's the way to do it. All right, let's keep going. We got 10 seconds to go. Stay strong, stay powerful, stay focused. Three, two, one, done with that. Good job. Okay, so back to Renegade, right? So we got our DBs right here, okay? This is going to be 30 seconds as well. These are short sets. All right? Three, two, one. Let's go. Pull it and pull it. Pull it and pull it. Pull it. Pull it. There's our. Okay? 15 seconds to go. 15 seconds to go. 
running out of time. There we go. All right. Good. Five seconds. Staying strong. Three, two, one, done. Okay, come on up. Let's get our hammer curl. Hammer curl it is. See, I'm tricking people. We're putting, we're putting down on the mat moves combined with up moves. So mean of me because then you wind up getting up and down a whole bunch of times. All right, here we go. Hammer curls together. 30 seconds together. Together. Now, how do we make things harder? One thing is you can go fast. That's one way of doing it. But then weirdly, counterintuitively, going slow, particularly on that down portion, is going to make things harder. So if you go up fast and down kind of slow, that might be the best of both worlds. Okay? You can also add a little jump at the top if you want, right? So pulse it up, pulse it a second time, and then down slow. Right? This is just some options for people, okay? Good. Let's keep going. About another five seconds, all right? Think about those biceps, all right? And then we go both back to triceps. Good. Done. Pause for a second, okay? Let's not overdo the elbows. And let's get our third set in. Triceps, renegade row, biceps. And this is our last little series here in this one. So here we go. Three seconds, two, one, fold it over, kick it back. There we go. Give me a 30 second set here. Strong, right? Work on, as you do this, work on that length in that uh, torso. Work on that, finding that angle of the torso, right? So not here, see if you can find closer to parallel to the ground. A little bend in your legs will help you with that, all right? We got five seconds to go. Three, two, one, done with that. Okay, we're gonna go back to Renegade. The Renegade row. So here we are. We're tall, we're strong, body's long. We're starting in three, two, one, pull. And pull. And pull. All righty. There we go. 30 seconds. And then just one more set after this. All right. Getting strong. Pull it up, right? Pull it up. Work on those lats. These muscles right underneath the armpits. Pull it down and back. Nice and strong. 10 seconds to go. Float like a butterfly, sing like a bee. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Done with that. Okay, good. Come on up. Let's get our final set on the old hammer curl. Check your feet. Make sure they're parallel. Shoulder width. Draw those shoulder blades onto your back. Starting in three seconds. Nice and tall. Nice and strong. Here we go. Bring it up. Let's get in there. Okay. Now. There's a couple options here. You want to turn it over. You want to bring the, the palms up. Take it away from hammer. You can. You can alternate. Right? So we go out and in. Out and in. People are like, well, how many different variations of curls can there be? The answer is a lot. Right? When you supinate the wrists, as you'll feel, when you supinate and turn over like this, you can get a crazy contraction in the biceps. Crazy! All right, we got 10 seconds to go, getting in there. This is all good, it's all strong. There's three, two, one, well done, good job. Dumbbells down, take a breath, good work. Good work, Bo, Jeffrey Gimble, John Short, Rachel, you guys are awesome. So great that you're here, take a drink. Well done, okay. Explosive power, what do we have? Five minutes. So we're gonna do like maybe one or maybe two minutes, we'll see, of explosive power. Now, explosive power, important. Nice dribble down the front there, that's just how it goes. So here's what we're gonna do. Not, not cardio, okay? Power, explosive force. So what I want is people to swing the arms back, jump up off the ground as high as you can. If you're feeling strong, you do a tuck jump at the top. Otherwise, just reach up for the sky, just watch the Michael Jordan documentary. That's the other thing I watched. Try to touch the rim, right? Dunk it, okay? And we're just going to do a few, okay? So I'm going to give you guys about 15 seconds to do a few. Reset between each one. Here we go. Take it up, down. Take it down. Each one is powerful. We're taking time between, right? You want to land soft like a cat. Think like cat or ninja, right? Good. Stop. All right? That's good. Breathe, that's just fine. 
shaking it out. This time, same thing. Give me a, a, a frontal plane action. So about six or six to 12 inches of movement left to right, okay? So here we go, swing the arms up. So little movement to one side. Little movement. We're still jumping as high as we can. We got a little movement to the right and the left. Good job, couple more. Three, two, one, stop, good job. That's good. Hurry might be up a little bit, that's okay. That's all right. Now, rotational plane, okay? So now we're gonna jump and we're gonna turn just a little bit, right? Maybe as much as 180 degrees, maybe 90 degrees, whatever you got, right? So it might be, might be as much as that, okay? Here we go, ready, set, go. Slight turn on your axis, right? Again, looking for as much height as you can each time. Make sure you land softly, right? Three, two, one, you're done. Good job, everybody. That's power, okay? That's the ability to express power, to accelerate and decelerate, right? It's gonna keep you safe, keep you strong, keep those white muscle fibers, those high twitch muscle fibers, fast twitch muscle fibers going hard. Okay, good job. Grab a drink and we'll just do a quick cool down. And we did it. That's awesome, everybody. Okay, so cool down. Let's bring the feet kind of wide, kind of parallel, okay? Take the breath. Breathe in, stretch up, breathe out, slowly down. Breathe in, slowly up, breathe out, slowly down, repeat. Feel the ribs separating. Couple more. Feel the heart rate slowly slowing down. Last one. Come down. Good job. Bring the feet in just a little bit. Let's take those arms here. Nice and easy. Just encouraging the venous return a little bit so those metabolites can return to the center of you and get flushed out. Breathing. Good, go ahead and swing in opposition. Good, stay soft. Good, let's bring the palms together, bring the feet together, bring the elbows out. Feel that center line. Feel those, that, um, those pulse points between your fingertips. Less than a minute left, everybody. All right, well, thank you very much for being here. Enjoy the weekend. Thanks for taking care of yourself and for staying connected with this group. Big news coming up about Patreon. Patreon's gonna be my new thing, okay? So it's gonna be a little shift the way things go, but it's still gonna be good. It's probably gonna save you guys a little money, so that's good. All right. Once again, stay connected, stay healthy in your time together. Thanks for being here. Have a great weekend. Hope to talk to you all soon. Take care. Be good.